Good afternoon, everyone. Myself, Shikha Yadav, Senior Lecturer in INT College of Polytechnic. Today, I'm going to tell you about the electronic configuration. What is electronic configuration? How you write the electronic configuration of the elements? Okay. Now, first thing is that what is electronic configuration? The distribution of the electrons in different orbital is known as the electronic configuration of the atoms. So there are so many principles regarding this Pauli's principle, Bunge's principle. As you all know, atom is the smallest particle of an element which may or may not have independent existence. In Augur principle, we have seen in ground Augur principle states that in ground state of an atom, electron enters in the lowest energy first, and subsequent electrons are fed up according to their increasing energy. First in 1s, then 2s, then 2p, then 3s, then 3p, 4s, 4d, 4p, and then 5s. Again, I'm repeating the series 1s, 2s, 2p, 3s, 3p, 4s. 3D, 4P, 5S. Next is a Pauli principle. What is Pauli principle? Pauli principle states that an orbital can accumulate maximum of the two electrons and these two must have opposite spin. These two have must have opposite spin. Next come to Hund's principle. What is Hund's principle? Hund's principle states that according to this rule, electron pairing will not take place until in orbitals until in the same energy until each orbital is first singly filled with the parallel spins. This is the Hund's principle. So we have seen three principles: Aubo principle, Pauli principle, and the Hund's principle. Here we are showing the electronic configuration of some elements. For example, hydrogen that is 1s1. Okay, 1s1, hydrogen atomic number is 1. So, one electron enter in the 1, that is 1. Helium atomic number 2, 1s2, 1 is clockwise direction and the other spin is the anti clockwise direction. Next is lithium, lithium atomic number is 3, 1s2, 2s1. In 1s, we have two electrons, and in 2s, we have one electron. Next, come to beryllium 1s2, 2s2. Two electrons in 1s, and two electrons in 2s. Next, we have carbon 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. Two electrons in 1s, two electrons in 1s, 2s, and the 2p electrons in the 2, one in 2px, and the other one is the 2py. S, what is S? Next is the oxygen that is 1s2, 2s2, 2p. This is a 4, 5, 6, 7 that is oxygen. 1s2, 2s2, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 earlier, then 3s2 and then 3p6. Here is the orbital diagram. Hydrogen 1s1, helium plus 2, beryllium 1s2, 2s2. Iron. Iron atomic number is the 26. And first, we have to write the electronic configuration. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, and 3d6. Six electrons enter in the D last section. So here we see, you can uh, look into the diagram. S, first shell, we have two electrons. Second, we have the eight. Then eight. And then in last, we have the 4s2 electrons. Here is the orbital energy scale. Okay. Look at this. 1s, 2s energy, then 2p energy, then uh, 3s, then 3p, then 4s, 4p, 3d, 5s, 5p, and this is 4d and so on. First shell, we have 2 electron, 8, 8, 18, 18, and the 32. These are our levels. Next, there's the same electronic configuration of the sun elements. Here, you can see hydrogen, helium, lithium, carbon, 
nitrogen 1s2 2s2 2p3 oxygen 1s2 2s2 2p4 four electron in 2p shell and first one one electron is p one electron in x axis p x one electron in p y and the other in the p z and the fourth electron in the anti clockwise direction next is fluorine this fluorine 1s2 2s2 2p5 next is neon 1s2 2s2 2p6 neon atomic number is 10 sodium 11 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 here is the energy level diagram of the many electron atom okay in uh, depend upon the uh, energies first 1s this is our uh, 1s then 2s then come to 2p then 3s then 3p 4s in 1s we have s we have one orbital in one orbital how can how many electrons we fill two electrons in 2s we fill two electrons in 2p maximum six six plus two eight in 3s two electron 3p again we have six six plus two eight then in 4s two electrons 4p we have six and 3d we have 10 10 plus 6 plus 2 that is 18 next come to uh, 5s two electrons 5p six electrons and in 4d 10 electrons here we come 18 electrons next 6x two electrons p six electrons 5d 10 electrons and 4s we have 14 electrons and the total number of electrons is 32 so this is how we can fill the electrons 2 8 8 18 18 32 okay here we have how many maximum number of electrons we can fill in each sub shell or sub level we have already shown you the diagram of electronic configuration s we have one orbital and the maximum number of electrons filled that is 2 p we have 3 maximum number of electrons 6 d we have 5 maximum number of electrons is 10 and f we have 7 and the maximum number of electrons that you can fill in the sub uh, sub shell that is 14 okay now okay. this is how we can show the diagram how you can fill the electrons first 1s2 1s 2s 2p then come to 3s 3p 4s then 3d then 4p then 5s then 4d then 5p then 6s then 4f then 5d then 6p then 7s then 5f then 6p and we have already uh, shown you s we have one orbital p we have three orbitals d we have five and f we have seven and the maximum number of electrons we have already shown you in our previous slide that s total maximum electron 2 p 6 d 10 and f 14 okay okay this is the our sub level this is our sub level one sub level principal level 1 two sub levels we call a principal level 2 three sub levels we have principal level 3 and four sub levels we have principal level 4 for n is equal to 1 principal 1 level 1 n is equal to 2 principal level 2 n is equal to 3 principal level 3 and in n is equal to 4 principal level 4 this is the diagram here we can, for n is equal to 1 1s n is equal to 2 we have 2s and 2p n is equal to 3 we have 3s 3p 3d n is equal to 4 we have 4s 4p 4d and 4s okay here we can show for the n is equal to 1 1s so s we have already discussed we have one orbital in 2s we have one orbital 2p we have three orbitals 3s we have one orbital and 3p we have three orbitals and 3d we have five orbitals 4s we have one 4p we have three 4p 
4D, we have 5, and again, you can see in 3D in this diagram, 5. Okay, next, we have already discussed this of filling rules. Okay. In our power principle, electrons are added one at a time to the lowest energy orbital available until all the electrons of atom have been accounted for. That we add electron one by one. Then Pauli. We have already discussed the Pauli principle. Orbital can hold a maximum of two electrons. And those two electrons must spin in the opposite direction. Next, we have Huns. Electron occupy equal energy orbital so that maximum number of the electrons is out. This is the, again, we have a diagram, that energy level diagram, many electrons. We have discussed it before also. In, this is the series 2, 8, 8, 18, 18, 32. Okay, this is how. 2, 8, 8, 18, 18, 32. Okay, next, we have the Bohr model. So, according to this Bohr model, what is this? In Bohr model, in 1913, this Neil Bohr, they gave theory regarding the distribution of electron. And the main postulates of this theory are, first is, electron revolve in the well-defined circular orbit. See, whatever, whenever the electron that revolve, it revolve in the well-defined circular orbit. If K, then it revolve in the K circular orbit. Next, in second, these circular orbits are known as the energy levels. These circular orbits are known as energy levels, energy shells, K, L, N, N, in this form. These can be these have uh, designated as K, L, M, and N, O, so on. While revolving in orbit, electron is not in position to either gain or to lose energy. Its energy remains stationary. Its energy remains stationary. So this is the Bohr model. And in this Neil, 1930, Neil Bohr gave this theory regarding the distribution of the electron. The distribution of electron in the energy shells is known as the electronic configuration. And it is based on the certain guidelines that is based on the bohr theory rule. What is we call? That is bohr theory rule. And uh, what is this bohr theory rule? What uh, bohr theory rule states? The first point is that maximum number of electrons is given by 2n square. If we in 2n square, if we put n is equal to 1, so uh, how many electrons? That is 2. In first, in n is equal to 2 shell, how many electrons? 8. And it goes on. n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3, and n is equal to 4. Second point is that, according to this Bohr theory, he states that outermost energy shell outermost energy shell in an atom cannot have more than 8 electrons even if it has a capacity to take up more electrons to the, according to the first rule. This is our two electrons. You can see in this 8 further. We can look into this first example that is your hydrogen. Look into this diagram. The first hydrogen. Hydrogen atomic number is one, and that is go in the one s shell. One electron. One electron is shown in this. N is nucleus. Next we have helium. Helium atomic number is two. So two electrons go into the one s sub shell. One and the two. Next is lithium. One s lithium atomic number is three. Two electrons in one s and one electron in two s. That this three, one in one two in one shell and one in another shell. Next come to carbon. One s two carbon atomic number is six. And how we can fill the electron? One s two two s two two p two. So one s we have two electrons, two s and two p four electron. They go in carbon. Next is nitrogen. First shell, 1s2, 2 electrons, and these outermost, 
2 s 2 and 2 p 3 5 these five electrons go in the next sub shell how many we can fill eight next come to fluorine what is the fluorine atomic number fluorine atomic number is 9 so how we can fill this 1 s 2 2 s 2 2 p 5 One is we have two electrons. Look, uh, first shell two electrons, and in second shell we have seven electrons. And maximum number of electrons in second shell that is eight. Next is we are aluminium. Aluminium atomic number is thirteen. So how we can fill this? That is one s two two electron, two s two two p six, three s two, and the three p one. So look into this. You can check here. In first shell we have two electrons. In second shell we have eight electrons, and in the third shell they have three electrons. How many? Three electrons. Next come to argon. Argon is a inert gas, stable gas, and the atomic number of argon is eighteen, and the symbol is Ar. So how we can write the electronic configuration is one s two, two s two, two p six. 3s2 and the 3p6. So look into the diagram. First shell we have two electrons. Second shell we have eight electrons, and in the third shell that is eight electrons. Clear? Two in first shell. Second shell we have eight, and the third shell we have eight. Next we have iron. Okay. Look into the diagram. First. Iron atomic number is twenty-seven, and the symbol is Fe. And this iron, it is a D block element. D block element and this transition element. When we see the periodic table, we see the location in the D block transition element. Iron is a transition element. Is the electronic configuration of this one s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, three p six, four s two, and three d. Six. Okay, so in this two electrons in first shell, then come to eight electrons in the second shell. Clear? And then come to in third uh, first shell we have two, second we have eight. Then come to uh, next shell. In last shell we have two electrons, four s two. And these uh, remaining electrons go in the third shell. Remaining electron go in the third shell. And in this, the four s two, these two electrons enter into the fourth energy level. Two, eight. Look into this. Two, eight. And this is how much? Fourteen around and two in the last sub shell. Next, come to the lanthanum. Okay, lanthanum is ex exception in the chemistry also. And uh, Uh, symbol is L A. The symbol of lanthanum is L A. And uh, this lanthanum, you have seen the electronic configuration of lanthanum also. You can see it uh, here. The electronic configuration we have written it here. That is one s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, and the three p six. Four s two, then three d ten, then four p six. 5s2, 4d10, 5p6, 6s2, and this is 5d1. Lanthanum. The atomic number of lanthanum is 57. Symbol is La. F block element. So in this, the last electron that goes in that is in the first shell. We have two. First shell we have how many electrons? They are two. Second, we have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can count them. Next, we have eighteen, eighteen, and then the so on. And the last electron they goes in the in the last shell. We have the two. Last, we have two. Last, we have two. So this is how, and this is exception also in which the last electron enters into the. 5d shell that is enters into the last electron that is enters into the one electron in the 5d one 
here we have the arbitrary energy scale and this arbitrary energy scale we explaining here to how to fill the electrons discuss already in 1s2 electrons 2s2 electron because s we have one orbital and we can accommodate a maximum of two electrons in the s in p we have three orbitals maximum six electrons we can fill again we have three s then we have three p6 then we have four s and then we have here we have three s2 three p6 then we have four s2 then we have four four s2 three d10 then we have three d10 four p6 then we have five s2 then we have 5s2 after that 4d10 and then 5p6, 6s2 and then goes one electron in the 5d sub shell. Clear? So this is how we can show how you fill the electronic configuration by the following following some rules. And three major rules we have already you have seen. Three major that is Pauli principles, Wundt's principles, and the Aubrey principles. These are the three important rules. And from this, uh, um, without using these rules, you don't can't know how to fill the electrons in each subshell. How many electrons will go in each subshell? Orbitals, subshells, energy, maximum number of electrons fill. So from these two rules, these three rules, Aubrey. Pauli and the third one is the Hund's. They tells us how the distribution of the electrons in different element orbitals takes place. How we fill the electrons? Where this one s, two s, two p come? How we can know in one s how many electrons we have to fill in two p how many electrons we have to fill? So with the help of these three rules, the electronic configuration of the atoms will be explained. We have seen so many examples also in hydrogen, helium, lithium, carbon, nitrogen, aluminium, argon, chlorine, and iron. This is how we can say sulfur. So many examples in whole periodic table. And without this, we can't go further. Bohr model also we can discuss here. See what are the points given by the Bohr. What are the postulates regarding this Bohr model? What Bohr model explain regarding this? So this is how we can know. How we can fill the electronic configuration of the various atom we have seen there. Thank you so much.